creating enumerated lists in Oxygen is actually pretty easy. Um, and let's go and make that happen. In addition, I'll demo um, again creating new schemas and also um, creating instances from schemas. So I'll say File New here. I'll create a new schema. I'll blow by this target namespace box, and it won't matter at the moment. And now this is what I come up with in a blank new schema. I'm going to add a new global element. That's going to be my root element, and I'll call that root. And onto the root element, I'm going to add a sequence, because that's what I always do. Unless, um, unless there's a real reason to add a choice, I always just add a sequence. And onto here, I'll append an item called list. OK, that's the list item. I want that list to be a list of seasons. And so first thing I have to do is go over to the Attributes tab, make it a string. There's other uh, data types that can also have enumerated lists, but um, the only one we'll work with in this class is the string type. OK, now I have a string, and I can add into my Facets tab. I go and right-click on Enumerations and click Add. And I'll go Summer, and then Add Winter, then Add Fall, then Add Spring. R -I -N -G. Now I realize that Summer, that Spring comes before Summer, so I better move that guy up. So I move up, I move up, I have spring, I've got to move up again, spring, summer, move winter up, spring, summer, fall, winter, and that's just what I want. I'll save this guy, and I'll put him over here on my temp directory, as I want to do. Okay, now I'm going to go and create a new XML file with this schema attached, new. XML document, and it's asking me which schema here. I'm going to choose this one. Oh, no, actually, it had pre-selected that. And I say OK. Now I get a new schema, and that schema, notice, has one root element. It has this deal right here that's linking me to my um, to, that's linking me to my schema, and I'm going to immediately remove the absolute path and turn it into a relative path so I don't get messed up later on. Oh, and then if I do that, I better save this in the same directory. So I'll save this in the temp directory, and I'll call it temp 8 xml And that's fine. And now I go into my list. And in order to get that, that in order to get the enumerated list to pop up, I hit control space. Control space is a good thing to know because control space, um, and I, it may be something different on the Macintosh. I'm not quite sure. But control space always does things like completing tags, telling you what the next possible attribute is. It's a good it's a good key to try if you want to hint. And now notice my little pop-up comes up. I click on that pop-up, we're all valid, and it's all good. All good.